Hello guys and thanks for coming to my YouTube channel Blender Ustad. In this video we will create this kind of security wide web in Blender 2.82. So this is the final result and this is the uh, solid view of it. So if you want to model then continue with me and if not then skip the video. So let's get started. So we will start it from this scene so just uh, I will provide this scene in the description so click on the description link and you will download this one okay so now let's get started first of all sh shift and right click to grab the cursor there and then shift add we add a plane rotate it with X at 90 degree and then grab it a bit up okay grab it a bit up and then scale it up and now grab it there scale it again with x and a little bit add z something like this if we see it the camera view it's looking like this so just scale it with x because we need it a little larger okay and now grab it to the x something like this and scale it a bit okay now uh, go here select it and then go to the edit mode select the edge select this one shift D to duplicate at X direction and now go to the vertex selection select this vertex go to the right view extrude it there and now double click on it to select and then P to separate selection and so now we have these two objects separated okay so like this one go to go to the modifier setting and simply add a skin modifier so it will convert this thing to mesh okay so now go to the edit mode select all with a go to the warframe and control a to scale it down okay remember that if you did it with simple s it will not work so we need to uh, scale it with control a and then also control a and scale it with y to make it a bit wider okay something like this also select this object and do the same thing go to the modifier and add a skin modifier okay again go to edit mode select all and control a to scale it down okay now select this one and simply add a subdivision modifier with level f2 and also select this one and add, add a subdivision modifier with level f2 okay uh, so now it's pretty much fine just grab it a bit up okay and right click to smooth it right click to smooth it now apply these two modifier and then select the, these tools and control J to join it so now these tools are one object just we need to do is add a simple uh, add here an edge loop to make it a bit sharper so do it with control R and grab it down okay now select this one and we need to generate it for that we need to go to the modifier setting and add a simply RM modifier okay so it's now generating it with this direction but we don't want it we want it at the opposite direction for that we just need to add a minus here so I will put a minus before one okay enter it and it will boom it will opposite okay so now we need to uh, increase the count for that just increase this value as how much you want so I want something like this I did it okay now we need to make this Y for that we also need to add a plane okay so just make sure to grab the cursor a bit to the center so it will be easy to adjust it later okay so now i add a plane and rotate it with x at 90 degree and then go to the point view grab it there scale it up something like this and grab it down scale it grab it down and then scale it with x a bit more okay so now this is plane right click and subdivide it how much we need to make it 70 okay and now uh, control E to go to this menu and then click on the unsubdivided option so it will unsubdivide it but if we did the if we change the value to 3 it will convert this thing to the triangles that is what we want okay so uh, it's pretty much fine if you uh, get this problem you just need to select this loop okay something like this and with shift something like this okay and x to delete the vertex so this problem is now pretty much solved okay 
so how can we convert it to this kind of wire for that we need to select it and go here with and add a simply wireframe modifier okay so it converted to wire but this is pretty much thin so we need to make it thicker for that just decrease this value and choose the value which you want and which you uh, fit it on your uh, scene okay so i want this kind okay and now uh, select it we can also do this this thing like shift d and grab it to the x uh, something like this and then shift r uh, to generate it and you can also do it with array modifier so for now i did it something like this just we need to do the last thing uh, select it and right click to smooth it okay so it's pretty much done now by adding a simple uh, by adding a simple node principal node with new material and then selecting the same color which are in the reference okay <coughs> and now it's pretty much looking something like this also give it the same material to the these so select it and in the last select these things which have this color okay and then control l and copy materials okay so if we check it yeah we done it so this was the tutorial how i did it so if you like the video then please give me a like and subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos for now bye